Jason asks, um, if all billionaires set fire to their money, it would affect the money supply. Uh, uh, he wants me to recap my explanation of what happens then. How does that impact compared to sanctions, freezing, seizing of billions by an outside government? Well, I mean, if all the billionaires burnt their money, then there would be one time uh, less dollars in the system. Um, it, there would be a reduction in demand. Uh, the consumption of those billionaires would go away. There'd also be less saving and less investment going on. A uh, government could compensate for that. And this is what the Federal Reserve tries to do. Uh, so uh, all else held constant, prices would decline. Um, and, and, uh, and because it, there would be a reduction, significant reduction in investment as well, productivity would decline and, um, and it, you know, and, and uh, uh, future production and future wealth creation would decline. Uh, the government would try to compensate for that by printing extra dollars to compensate for the dollars that the billion is uh, burned. So you would get uh, prices coming back up, but it's not clear at all that you would get a rebound in investment and uh, in investments. So you'd still take the productivity hit long term, but you would uh, you would definitely get the prices probably would stabilize from government action if they got it right, which they probably wouldn't. So you'd probably have either prices declining or prices increasing above and beyond. How does, this, how does this compare to sanction freezing seizing of billions by an outside government? Well, so it depends on whose economy you're talking about. The fact that we are freezing the assets of, of Russian oligarchs in the United States, uh, in Russia, Russian oligarchs, uh, does not really affect the money supply in the United States. It doesn't change the fact that they have their money here in the bank or it's, or it's invested or whatever. They're not consumers in the United States anyway. They really, the impact is primarily on uh, their holdings. So uh, it, it doesn't change that. You know, it, it could in the short run reduce uh, prices of, real, of very high-end real estate in New York or in London, places where these oligarchs buy, tend to buy real estate. Um, so in the short run, it might have that effect. Many of them already have that real estate. So it's not clear that that would impact that, but it might. Uh, but in for Russia, it it eliminates the ability of those oligarchs to bring the money back to Russia. It eliminates the possibility of those oligarchs bringing that money back to Russia to invest in the Russian economy. Um, it eliminates the possibility of them consuming it in Russia. So that anything they consume has to be the wealth they have in Russia. So it certainly limits um, uh, their ability to impact the Russian economy. But it doesn't have a huge impact because that money was overseas anyway. It wasn't like they were going to bring that money uh, it, you know, uh, uh, back to Russia anyway. So it doesn't have a huge impact. The freezing of the assets doesn't have a huge impact on the Russian economy. It primarily has a huge impact on the lives of the oligarchs. They, they can jet around the world. They can access their credit, their, 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 their accounts. They can not get involved in, uh, I don't know, mergers and acquisitions, buying companies, doing investments, doing all the things that if you know, if you're in the financial markets, you notice Russian, rich Russians doing in our financial markets. They're very engaged. They're very involved. They definitely participate in those markets. So uh, uh, it, it affects uh, it affects the lack of the demand on the investment side more than anything else. But it's so small that I don't think it, ha it impacts, it's so small relative to the total that it doesn't impact global financial markets that much. Um, again, the Russian economy and, and the Ukrainian economy is just not big enough to have big impacts. And the oligarchs are not rich enough to have that big of an impact. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brook Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, Subscribestar, Locals, and just making an appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. 
I very much appreciate it.